guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to add uh, some Crimson Trace uh, um, grips to your Nighthawk T3. Just show you first, it's empty. Okay, it's empty. Let's get started. Uh, you're going to need a uh, Allen wrench or whatever. Take it, just uh, take off your grips. Just unscrew your screws come off relatively easy this one side flip it, knock it off you can go from underneath and pop it off too like that they're metal or they're aluminum grips which is kind of neat I just looked at that and you'll see there's your holes there flip it over the other side take these off Those screws, you could save them, you know, if you ever sell the gun and you want to sell it without the crimson strings, take it on, pop it out. Okay, so, see these are like aluminum grips, usually. Okay, and you have these four screws. Okay, uh, here's our crimson trace uh, walnut grips. And we're going to install those. A lot of times I'll take a brush, toothbrush, just clean everything up in there. There's no dirt, crap. Uh, what I always like to do is just say, put in like one or two drops of oil underneath there. Because I very seldom never get at the grips underneath there. Uh, if part of the frame, you don't want any rusting to occur or anything. And you're not going to be pulling these grips off all the time. Okay, so. There, your little protectant on there. Uh, you can see these here come with these little plastic things, and one goes on each side, something like this. Okay, see that? And that uh, glue or the oil will help hold it down a little. And then you're going to want to put the other one on this side. Okay, this side. I got two here. Off camera for a minute. You get your grip and you'll have to finagle it a little because sometimes it don't doesn't line up perfect there. Get this side on. Oh, I got it backwards. Sorry, already screwing up. Already got it in there backwards. Goes in this way. Then there. That there. Blah, blah, blah. You'll know what's in there because you'll it can only go one way. Okay, so get that one in there. Flip it over while you're holding it. Put that side in. Move it. If it shifts a little, that sometimes can be a bear to get in. That's why I try to put oil. Um, you just line it up there a little. I'm just lining it up so it drops in the hole. Okay, it's in the hole. Press down, make sure you got both sides in. Looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, I am not putting these same screws on. I picked up from DZ Grips some fancy grip screws. Here, it comes in. They have different types, but I got these little guys here. So you're going to want to put the washer they give you. Okay, the two little washers they give you. Put your grip screw in. Actually, it's a better way to do that. Put the washer on the screw first. Like that. See? So let's do all four of those first. I'll get it a little closer. Put this on there. Put it down like that. Get the other screw. Put it down like that. Oh, it's the wrong one. Down. And I just ordered a set of these for my corporate carry too. Okay, then pull this out. You put this in here like this. Okay, these little washers. It's recommended you get these little rubber washers when you're doing it. Drop them in there. Drop them in there. Push it a little. It's your handy dandy little Allen wrench. Mild pressure. Just point it down. 
turn Corey in. It's going in. Going in. You give it a little pressure when you're turning it. That's all. I've got them out kind of far so you can see them. Get this side here. One in there. One in there. I would have gotten the instead of the walnut grips for this, I would have got the cherry or the red ones, whatever you want, what kind of wood that is, but they were kind of out of them, so I got these instead. Uh, I might actually sell these because I got a guy that might want to buy them. Now you can start tightening it down because the grips go supposed to go kind of deep in there. Okay, could be a little better. Uh, we're in there. And then it'll stop when they stop, just don't ever tighten them. This really, you know, makes the gun really look better. And it's functional because you're going to have a set of laser, laser grips. Uh, I know everybody knows how to put the batteries in them. Uh, the direction shows and everything. I'm going to kind of back this out a little. One. There, so, looks like they're in. Looks like it fits good there. Okay, now that's the Master Series scripts on those. I'll just turn the button on and... Okay, laser works. So that's your installation of uh, the laser grips, Crimson Trace laser grips, and some VZ grips, grip screws. They've got a lot of different types and uh, I ordered another set of these grip screws for my... Uh, um, Cobra Carry. And you can put your extra parts in there, like that, right? I have a little bag from the Crimson Trace stuff. I put my scythe, my grips uh, in there. And then and I get this down here so it don't open. Lock them up. Put this uh, in my bag, my range bag whatever you want to call it. And that's pretty much how you install them. And those uh, grip screws really make it look nice. Pretty that looks. And what you can do, I'd probably recommend it. I always, I even put oil on my grip. It just, it just keeps the life. Just don't get in the laser. You'll be okay. And just, it'll help repel any kind of oil. Yeah. So gives it a nice little shine. But thanks for tuning in, and that's uh, my installation of the grips and the grip screws with that little washer in there. It's important to have that little rubber washer. Thanks a lot.